Hi, I'm Yao Qi Guo from Peking University. I'm glad to introduce our work, AI-based prediction of catheter-related thrombosis risk for cancer patients. Venous thromboembolism is the second leading cause of death in cancer population, apart from cancer itself. Central venous catheterization, CBC, is a routine procedure in cancer care, amplifies the VTE risk leading to a catheter-related thrombosis. However, current risk assessment models and certain AI methods for VTE prediction works poorly in CRT risk prediction for cancer patients. First, we collect data from 20,667 cancer patients. After data cleaning and feature selection, we get nine features including chest radiation therapy and chemotherapy, blood features, demographics, and catheterization method. We choose CatBoost model to predict CRT risk. We also use Kaplan-Meier method to give CRT-free probability over time. ST is the estimated CRT-free probability at time t. Ti represents the distinct time point where CRT may occur. Di represents the CRT patients who develop at time Ti. Ni is the number of patients at risk just before time Ti. Using the map models, we develop a CRT risk prediction mini-program. The mini-program collects data from the patients and output current CRT risk and future CRT risk, which can support clinical advice on CRT prevention. We conduct evaluation on the data set we collected. The CatBoost model reaches a 0.794 AUROC, 54.9% higher than the baseline Horenda model. The precision is 48.19%, also a lot higher than the baseline. The result of the CRT-free probability model can help stratify and assess the CRT risk for patients of different types over a certain period post catheterization. This offers a more nuanced understanding of CRT risk for patients and their doctors. To summarize, our work includes AI model for CRT risk prediction, CRT-free probability model, and CRT risk prediction mini-program. Our future work is to conduct prospective research using the data collected by the mini-program. Thank you for your attention. Please refer to our paper for more information.